Hello everyone, I'm Trustic44 and welcome to this let's play of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Armin. Last episode, we uh, basically went searching to try and find what has been causing all the problems for the nearby town of, I honestly can't remember the name, someplace in the Umar Hills. And while they thought it was, uh, a bunch of ogres, or a bunch of wolves, or even an old ancient witch, turns out it's none of them. It's actually an ancient, uh, an ancient creature sealed away inside of a temple who has decided to wake up, and is now sending out shadow creatures and causing all those sorts of problems. Also, technically wolves, since there was a werewolf over there who had a whole pack and the shadow creature kind of like killed all the wolves and took the wolves to be his own shadow wolves kind of thing, it, regardless. We started exploring here, found a knight, or fighter of some sort, who wanted to join us, but unfortunately we didn't really have the room. If I had the ability, I would have removed Minsk and taken her with us, but this is kind of Minsk's mission in a way, so... Yeah. I don't really have anyone else I can get rid of at the moment. So, let's continue exploring through this place, and already we got more shadows. Get on the killing! There we go. Here we have a room. Hmm. The gem that sits on the pedestal easily penetrates the unnatural shadows of this place. You can take the gem if you wish to. Not yet, I don't think. With vengeance! Where are those shadows coming from? We were just over there and they were not. These shadows are coming out of nowhere. No effect. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. That's concerning. Do we have you any point. healing spells? What is it now? So you're gonna have to use that. Actually, uh, yeah, we're kind of running out of healing spells. I think. Yes, Encumbered. Oh, damn it! I shall go forth at your command. Fine. Do that on Frederick. What's that about the bones near the entrance? Sorry, uh, someone... I removed the... What do you mean you cannot... <sighs> it's slowly wearing off. And good to know now that the shadows are still I hit to no effect. So I do need these bones then, for some reason. Oh, this place is gonna be a pain. No effect. I hit to no effect. Must mean these nuts. Sorry, person in the chat who just spoke up. Yes, thank you for things. I apologize. I guess I'm supposed to take these. Annoying as it is. Okay. Nature's servant. Okay. Do you have healing spells? You do. Please cast them on him. Let's see. On my own. Now, give me a second. We have... All the way at the bottom here... Mourn Ritual. Hold up the holy... Hold the holy tome up to the sun. My power shall bless it. Reflect as that thou perceive the victory of light over the dark. Unfortunately, we don't know the rest. Okay, we need the rest of that, but that's for something completely different. And we can't really finish the ritual until we, uh, continue things. Okay. I will well, do my best. 
only one other way to, we can go now, and that's through this door. Which is locked. I await your need. I am ready. You can't pick it, can, I can you? I dance on the head of a pin as well. Yes? Yes. Yep, we need to find a way to open it. Oh, and the... Okay, this is getting very annoying already. So, we have the Morn Ritual, but we don't know how to do anything with it. We don't have the tome that is mentioned. I guess I can take this? When you take the gem from the pedestal, the illumination lessens and the shadows of the room deepen. There's only one other thing we can do, and that's interact with this. And there's that shadow back again. And that one's back too. I hit you not this to no effect when I let soldiers in the order. Righteousness shall prevail! To no effect? Frederick, this way. We need to try and do something with this. Okay, let me save before we try something. Okay, we can speak to it. The child of the sun, shall you take the test of the holy ritual? You must prove your conviction before the sun lord shall offer up his symbol. I guess I'm prepared to take the test. Prove your faith and be blessed. It is dawn, O seeker of the light. What is thy first duty? Uh, I shall recite the tenets of faith? That is incorrect. Mark n not the ritual. Ignorance is thy companion. Okay. Do we say a prayer to the light? What shall you do second to the ritual? I shall hold high the holy book that the sun might bless it. How shall the ritual end? I shall reflect on the glory of the light as it conquers the dark. So ends the morning ritual. Return when thy faith is ready to face the final tests. Okay, hold on a moment. Okay, let's try that again. Prayer of the Light. Hold high the Holy Book. Reflect on the glory of the Light. Okay. The sun is high, noon is upon us. How shall thee honor the Lord? Crap. Um. Him a praise? How shall you next welcome the zenith of the sun? I shall raise my hands to the light? How shall the noontide ritual end? Um. I shall rejoice at the dominance of the light. So ends the noontide ritual. Okay. What about the third one? It is dusk and the darkness moves in. The evening ritual must be said to ward off evil. What is the first step? Uh, recite the tenets of faith. The shadows grow longer. What must be done? I will hold high my children that they might see the sun. How shall the ritual end? I shall mourn as I watch the sun give way to the onslaught of night. The evening ritual is completed. The tests have ended. A Maunator in his glory offers thee his symbol. Use it and his brothers to form the symbol of Amaunator. That is the ward required to open the door to the lair of the Dark One. Okay. Uh... I have solved the riddles of the rituals, and the statue has given me a gem which it called a symbol of Amaunator, saying I would require it and its brothers to open the door to the lair of the Dark One. Okay, then. We have that. Sunray symbol. Sure. So, where do we go now? Oh, oh, damn it, another one of these. Okay. 
Alright. So now what? Oh, there we go. Doors open. Let's save before we continue in. Alright. Ano men, come this way, no please. Untouched. Let me guess. That's another. Yeah, that's another shadow door, so we need to figure out another way to get through. Well, let's continue in. Oh, jeez, they came out of nowhere. I hit. Frederick, get back there, help them. Come on, everyone. I'll hurt you if I have to. There we go. That looks like lava. Is it lava? Yep, it's lava. Ow. Well, that was a little painful. Oh, that's something to identify. It is an an iron stone. Nice. We really need to get a rest here. Okay. Unidentified wand, bolts of lightning, darts of wounding, arrows of ice, you're getting those. These you can hold on to. Actually, hold on to that. Uh, we have one of these, use it. Pearly white ion stone. Regenerate one hit point every five rounds. Legend tells us that this particular type of ion stone is crafted with the enslaved soul of a troll. This pearly white ion stone will grant the wearer the ability to regenerate at a rate of one hit point every five rounds. That's pretty damn good. Is there anyone it would be good on? That's the Eyes of Truth. That's... Protects against critical hits. Protects against critical hits. You've got nothing. We'll give it to you. Okay. We need a place to rest here. Oh, Light, can it be? You come, man, bearing the bones of the child prophetess Amauna. Her defilement is, own, at, at, is at an end. Hmm. Explain yourselves. Who are you, spirits, and who is this Amauna whose bones you say I possess? Once, long ago, this was a place of darkness and vile creatures that spilled into this world from the blackness. A Maunatar invaded this place, brought his light to it, and drove away the shadows. The Yellow God set up temples here, and wards to keep the darkness forever at bay. Once there were priests who shouted his names to the heavens and kept the wards strong. But our Amaunator has lost his power over the ages. The Keeper of the Sun is no longer worshipped as he once was, and the wards begin to weaken. Amauna was born to our people a child prophetess, the child of light who would fight against the darkness that was once more beginning to spill into these lands. But it was too late. Too late. Amauna was overwhelmed by the Shade Lord. We could could not protect her as he took her body and threw her bones to his dark wolves. The bones of the child you have brought to us. Her defilement at the hands of the Shade Lord is now ended. Our duty is at an end. Please, Amauna, Amuana, forgive us. Forgive our lapse and let us cross over at last. My bones have been retrieved from the jaws of the Shade Wolves. I am grateful to you. Badon and Dead Sir have been relieved of their duty and crossed over. 
I will join them soon. I pray that you are in this place to strike a blow against the darkness that has engulfed it, a darkness that I had not power enough to defeat when I was among the living. But I have some power. I have power enough to elude the attention of their guardians, if necessary, and I can give this to you. A ward stone. Carry it, and the dreaded shadow dragon will not notice your passing. Do not attack the beast or otherwise draw its attention, and you shall be safe. Safe enough, at least, to stand against that foul shade lord that has spread his hand over my once glorious temple. I will go now, to rejoin my keeper of the eternal sun. I owe my freedom to you and will always be thankful. Live, my friends. Live long and live well. May the light be vic forever victorious. <laughs> Okay then. Thank you, Airy. I appreciate that. We have Pierce Magic and a bullet. I think Pierce Magic is something you need to know. First, the creature's magic resistance will be lowered by 1% per level of the caster. Okay. Second, one spell protection of 8th or lower affecting the creature, if any, will be cancelled. Okay. Sure, use it. Okay, we've got another of those, and the Shadow Dragon Ward Stone. These are Sunstone Bullets. 1d4 plus 2, plus 2 fire damage. That actually sounds very, very useful. Can't go it in there. Can't go it in there. Okay, good to know. Can these be identified? Yeah, it's two-handed swords. Okay. Well, I'll be honest, we're going to... We really do need to rest. Interesting. We found a way around this door. Except we didn't. Curious. I don't know how we were supposed to get around that otherwise. There's still another path over here, but I want to take a rest first. We're stopping? I just feel like collapsing here and dying. I just don't think I can go on. Harry. Perhaps it is better and more fitting if I just... just die. Like a bird whose wings are broken, I am useless, Frederick Lionheart. Utterly useless. If you continue to cry in such a fashion while we are attempting to help him on his quest, then you are indeed useless. For the last time, pull yourself together, girl. Shut up, Jahira. You think you'll be somehow impressed because... because you're so mean? You do nothing but boss people around. No wonder that Khalid was the only man who would marry you. Oh, dear. I warned you before, girl. You know nothing of my Khalid, and I will not tolerate you speaking of him. Or what? I do know of your Khalid. They say... They say he was a weak man whom you bossed around. Well, Frederick Lionheart isn't like that. He isn't. I never said he was, and I will not have a foolish girl disparage my dead husband regardless of what you think my intentions toward Frederick Lionheart are. But it's you who are jealous, Jehera. You're constantly picking on me, glaring at me. You want Frederick Lionheart to yourself. Oh god, why am I in the middle of this? You are being foolish. This is obviously some attempt to gather Frederick Lionheart's attentions. Frederick, I suggest you let the girl down easy before more harm is done. Easy? Airy, back off. Khalid doesn't deserve to be attacked, and neither does Jahera. That's enough out of you. Oh, jeez, that's... I thought that was both of them. So, the option here is... Either tell Jahera she needs to cool down... Because we're only friends. Say we like Airy. Tell Airy that we don't have any feelings for her. Or tell Airy to back off. Oh, God. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Why am I being dragged into this? <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Aerie, back off. Khaled doesn't deserve to be attacked, and neither does Jehera. That's enough out of you. Ugh, Frederick Lionheart, I said easy. I... How could you be so cruel? I... I was only trying my best. I was only trying to win your approval. I'm... I'll never be... Oh, I have to go. I have to leave. Uh, wait, what? Okay, I made the wrong choice. I'm going to reload here because now... <laughs> oh, God. Hold on. Okay, let's try resting again. I said let's try resting, please. This time they didn't come... This time she didn't start complaining. Okay. Once again, we have this further path here, which continues onwards, even though we don't have the key that allows us through. Alright, I'm gonna save before we go back over here. Alright, onwards! Skeleton warriors and shadow fiends. Oh, goody. You two, step off of the fire. And this is already going very far south. And Frederick's just about dead. Hold on. You know what? I have another idea. How about you go trigger them and draw them back? Everyone stay back here. I want them to come to us. Just like that. Alright, start the attack. There's one. And Mint's just frozen. This was a poor choice where where to fight them. We got two people three yeah, two people frozen now. God damn it. Okay, I gotta reload again. Oh, this is annoying. You put No, 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 get back. Draw them all back, please. All of them, all of them. All right. Shadow fiends are here first. We can kill them quickly. Once again, Frederick is paralyzed. Where did you two come from? God damn it, reloading again. I am annoyed. Fine. Once again, we'll just charge in. Kill those shadow fiends as quickly as you can. Another freaking freeze! Ugh. You know what, Airy? You have a fireball spell. How about you cast it in there and do something about them? There it is. Cast it. Burn them. Shadow Fiend was immune to the damage. Well, that's fine. I'm sure the skeletons were not. Please kill them! And Bone Golem, where the hell did you come from? And more shadow fiends. These came out of nowhere. 
Aerie, you have healing spells, right? Yes, you do. Please, cast some. You know, Yoshimo, just switch over to the katana, to the sword. Oh boy. That was painful. Oh boy. What is it now? Oh, there we go. That was annoying. Now, let's go deal with the two skeletons in here so we can loot whatever's in here. Shall we? Yoshino, switch to your sword, please. Then you can actually do some damage. There we go. I had to drop your item and center it done. Ow! Full up on things. You've got Summon Fiend and Carrion Summons. Well, we're not keeping either of those. Get those identified and then give them to Minsk to carry, please. Thank you for the healing. What have we got? Bullet. Wyvern Call. Ooh. That actually sounds very useful. What level is it? Level 6. You're fill up on level 6 spells, aren't you? And we have Tome of the Amonator. Er, Blessed be the light of Amonator. The Temple of Amonator shines like a beacon of radiance in the hills of Umar. Amonator wards us from the shadows of evil. Pilgrims come from areas far off to be blessed by the beauty of Amonator. Amonator is endless and without equal. Yet our god serves us well in that he is constantly on vigil against shadows. The temple serves a further purpose towards this end. Amonator keeps the casters of shadows from walking the land. Any and all who dare to taste of shadow magic should know that Amonator and his most holy servants will seek them out and cast them into chains within the temple. Lightstone, Dawn's Light, and Sun Rays are holy symbols, guides in any spiritual journey that a disciple of Amonator may embark upon. Blessed be the light of Amonator. Okay. And we have the Noontide Ritual. Know, my children, that when the sun displays the marvel of my work and rides high in the firmament above, thou must offer the Noontide Ritual, which is pleasing to mine eyes and ears. Malign the ritual at thy peril. Perform it only as I have written. Okay, so if we got all th if we got all three, we would have been able to figure it out. But we figured it out before already. Okay, we need some healing, please. On me, I mean. Thank you. Now let's head back over here, and it looks best. like we've kind of taken up all the time we have in this episode. I'm afraid I'm going to have to end this episode here. Next episode will continue on deeper into this place. What more we'll find, I don't know. Probably more shadows. This is going to be annoying. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44, that is Frederick Lionheart, Minsk, Anaman, Jahera, Yoshimo, and Eri. This has been a Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Armin, and I shall see you all.